HoneyHotCigarChick.com. Today I wanted to discuss something that isn't necessarily focused on just cigars, but about the things we appreciate and why. Whether it's a hobby, a lifestyle, or just those moments we take out for ourselves, the thing they really have in common is a connection and a beginning. For some people, that beginning might have started in childhood, uh, something that we remember, maybe the people in our lives that left us an impact, even something as simple as the food, stories, and memories that we look to find in things that we have now. It might be something like a surprise that came unexpectedly when we're caught up in the busy day and we want to make some time for ourselves, kind of focusing back in on us, relaxing, and finding out what matters to us in life. It may even be a combination of the two. Food, for example. I mean, food and comfort goes hand in hand, especially when we start off early in age. We have, like, when we think of our favorite foods, it's not necessarily the food itself, but the way it was prepared, the setting, who made it, who we were with, there are certain elements involved, and those elements kind of become like our palette, the things that we look for in the future and we want to grow on and enhance upon. Some things might change, some stay the same, but it's not a right or wrong, it's just what really needs to satisfy us. For me, growing up, there were three people who really made an impact in my life, and actually where my passions kind of stem off from. The first was my father. My father really implemented me the power of knowledge of finding out the history of things, the science, where things come from. I remember as a kid, if I had a question, no matter how simple my question was, and I know my dad knew the answer, <laughs> he wouldn't tell me. He would instead guide me to the books, the people, and the questions that my one question apparently needed more questions for, so I could really get an answer into it. And so, as you know, I, as a child, it was kind of frustrating, <laughs> you could probably imagine. But if I try to avoid my dad, instead of asking him the question, I'd end up doing the same thing. I'd have to go to the books, make up new questions to find out what I'm really looking for. So, I mean, I really thank my dad for that. He's inspired me to find out a lot about the things that I enjoy and why I enjoy them so much. The other two people would be my mother and my aunt. And this aunt wasn't one necessarily by blood, but she very much was family. You see, my mother was orphaned as a child. And she, we don't know anything about her family. I mean, it was just pretty much where she worked is where she lived, and she kind of grew up on her own. When she came to America and met my aunt, uh, my aunt had left her family in Austria to start a new life in America. So the only family they had was each other. So for me, they are very much my family. And I was told at a very young age that my mother was to pass away. So I said my goodbyes to my mother, and my aunt kind of raised me alongside her. Fortunately, my mother survived many years past the doctor's expectance, but for me, each day I had after that goodbye was a blessing. I mean, I cherished every detail, every moment that we had together. So for my aunt and my mother, they worked together alongside on everything they did. Everything in the house was cared to detail. We made food from scratch, every single meal was in our home. Uh, we had big parties. They were always looking to entertain, they ran their own business, and so for me to be a part of that, I find a lot, especially now having lost both of them, uh, I look for a lot of those elements in my life now. Those pieces are like my palette that I want to really push forward through. That's why food and wine have such an important role in my life. Now, growing up, there wasn't a lot of women cigar smokers, it was mostly the men who smoked cigars and the women who smoked cigarettes. I never had an affinity for cigarettes, they absolutely disgust me. I, I mean, with my father especially, you know, find out the history, find out where it comes from. Cigarettes, I just don't have a connection to. But cigars, on the other hand, I've always loved the smell of cigars. And so when I look into the history, look into the culture, there's just so much there and so much I can relate to, especially coming from the food and wine passion that I have. So for me, those are my beginnings. Those are my connections. Those are the things that I really strive for. And that's what I find enjoyment in life. We don't know how long our lives will be. We don't know what will happen each single day, but the only thing we can control is what we enjoy and how we make the most of each moment. So that's what I really want this site to be here for. I want to focus on the appreciation, on enjoying life, and on the simple things. And if you have stories of your beginnings and your connections that you'd like to share, whether it's anonymous or with your name, I'd love to hear them too. I think we can all learn something from each other. Well, thank you for listening to me. This is Teresa. I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care.